Okay, so I'll, I'll so the clip here is it's um, Brother Polite, who you said is an atheist in New York City. He's sort of an atheist, but with the comedic Egyptologist New Age slant, and he's part of something called the House of Consciousness, which is a big thing in New York. Polite is probably of this kind of new breed of kind of internet Afrocentric type religions. Even though he's not a Hebrew, he's probably the most well known. I think he actually makes his living from kind of doing talks and all that stuff, selling videos. But he is grilling a group called GMS, mm. and they're in a specific Israelite camp. And when he's grilling them, he knows some of their beliefs. And so he sh- he's sort of trying to show everyone, look how wild these beliefs are. Mm-hmm. So not all Hebrew Israelites are going to agree with what is going to be said here by GMS. In fact, uh, one of my friends says, everyone in the Hebrew Israelite world knows that GMS is sick. But see, what I've noticed is they kind of all say that about each other. But I think most of us could agree GMS is sick. Once you watch a clip, yeah. you'll, you'll see. He so. said it stands for Great Millstone. Great Millstone, yeah. And if you see any of the clips of these guys in San Francisco, they're the ones that are like the most vile, threatening to kill people, using every racial slur known to the, uh, you know, to man. So and like that's the group I talk to. Yeah. Does Brother Polite live up to his name? Is he polite? In this segment, as you can tell, he's having fun. <laughs> in this segment, he is. But I've heard other times not as much, but... Uh, most people would be pretty polite compared to a lot of the Israelites. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> right on. Right. right. Here we go. They said that you said it was okay to rape 12-year-old girls. Oh, I don't know if that's I true. Brought, which we teach now is that when you go into the law in the ancient world, men, if they saw a woman that they like, they can grab the woman up and rape the woman, man. <laughs> and, then they, and we're going to read the scriptures. We're going to read the scriptures, all right? We, no, somebody oh, hell no, you have no problem with that. Oh, oh, the Lord has no no, 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 but that's not good law. Well, 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 let me say this. No, 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 let me say this. The Lord didn't have a problem with men raping a 12-year-old or any woman that they saw on site. The Lord didn't have a problem with Why you David B? But you know what you're thinking? See, you were brought up in this man, in this man's fool system, so that's how you think. That's how you think. But back in the ancient world, if you saw my daughter, man, we're talking, we're talking about we talk grab a woman, grab a woman, man. And God had no problem with this. Of course not. Most let me tell you something, man. I mean, I don't want to speak around like this around a woman, you know. But I'm gonna say this. But I'm gonna say this, man. Let me let me say this. Let me say this, bro. Let me say this. Let me say this. I'm listening. Most women dream about that. Yeah, it's true. It's true. All right. Most women fantasize about that, man. Oh, so, uh, yikes. so that's an example. The, the sad thing is, now this will get controversial, but some of what they said is similar to certain sects of Islam doctrine of when you can uh, have sex with the young because they've got to make excuses for what Muhammad did because he married sure? the six year old yeah, and consummated sure. at nine. And so they go into whole, this whole thing about, you know, puberty and this and that. But, uh, well, it's better than nine, hey. <laughs> so it's, it's an improvement over Islam in that area. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, but you see, Poe Light knows what they're going to say, and yeah. he knows their lingo. They have weird little cartoons, GMS specifically, where it'll show these pictures, and it'll say, like, Edomite sex slaves. It'll have, like, uh, white women, like, on them. And then uh, there's this is one specific I'm thinking of. Then beside the bed is the head of an Edomite man, a white man, and it's severed. And the guy's holding a sword while the Edomite women are feeding him grapes. Yeah. Again, Edomite, that's how they call someone who's white or so-called Caucasian. Uh, but there's stuff like that. But again, not all the camps are like that. So here's what's the problem about the show with anything. If you meet someone who says, hey, I identify as a Hebrew Israelite. And you start coming at them with, oh, you believe that they may not believe that at all. They may think that's very wrong. And so you've simply got to ask them where they're at with this because they could have the bare bones Hebrew Israelite theology meaning they buy the version of history that says if you came over here via the transatlantic slave trade you are physical descendant from Abraham that may be all they buy but usually what I've noticed happens when Christians buy that they start going down a bad path okay. and the other doctrine that follows so it's not that it's no concern it is a concern but it doesn't mean they agree with all this other stuff that some of the camps like GMS would promote.